So uh, it's getting really warm out here real real fast and um, we're in the beginning of May. Hoop House is getting really warm inside. If you live anywhere where you're going to need to put ventilation in, one thing I learned about putting this one together, if you intend to put screen on your roll-up sides, go ahead and do it when you build it so you don't have to take everything back off. This side is complete. We've got just standard window screen bought from Lowe's. Just a regular 100 foot roll of, of screening. I used bicycle hooks for hanging your bike up in your, your garage. And we just, you know how we sandwich those together. I think I have that on film already. So let me show you how this is all going to come together. I've got the top 1x2, which screws into the 1x4 underneath. I'm going to take the screen, I'm going to wrap it, I'm going to go under, so the, it's on top of the 1x4, underneath the top 1x2. I'm going to come over, and then you don't really have to tuck it in, but because it's going to sandwich up against the bottom 1x2, but if you can, it probably doesn't hurt. Main thing I'm thinking that you want to do is try to keep the screen straight. So, straight this way. You don't want to be off when you get to the bottom and not have anything running on an angle. So, I made sure that the line on that side over there was lined up straight. And I'm just going to screw these on and I have plenty on the bottom which will attach down there so if I can get to my drill I will go ahead and do that all the way down and then we'll come back put the plastic back down and put the one by two on the bottom and I'll show you that when I get to that part um, I'm going to go ahead and put all these top 1x2s back in, wrapping the, pla the screening, and um, I'll be right back with you. So, you can see I've got this attached. I've got the screen attached to the top 1x2 into the 1x4, all the way down. I didn't tuck it in, it was just easier just to leave it flapping because this is going to sandwich in between the next 1x2. I, I tucked it in on the ends, but in the middle it was just easier to do it that way, maybe with a couple more hands who could have got it wrapped, but I don't think it's all that. I'm going to go ahead and put this bottom 1x2 back on here. So, like I said, we just come to the outside, and we just pull that back down flat, and I'm going to need a couple of people, a couple extra hands, so Patty and Anthony are going to help me with this part, but we'll just reinstall our bottom 1x2, sandwiching our plastic, which we're going to end up have to pull tight on the top, and it will catch the bottom of the, the flap of that screen that's hanging down. And then our plastic will be tight on here again, and we'll have this open and able to roll them up. So we're going to go ahead and attach these now, and then uh, we'll show you the finished product when we're, we've got it all wrapped up. So we got them all back on now, the uh, one by two, the bottom one by two, and it's now, it's now plastics back on tight and screens on. All we need to do now is attach these screens down to the top of our baseboard. Our bike hooks on, and we'll be able to roll them up. And one by two, right across the top of the, the two by eight baseboards, screwed in. We'll hold everything right down. So. Pull on this. 
And then we'll go all the way down, fasten the screen on, and uh, we'll have nice ventilation going.